Hi, my name is Mark from Scaletrains.com and we're going to talk today about putting one of the low pilot decoders in our N-Scale locomotive. Alright, so the first step in installing a decoder in one of our locomotives would be to obtain the control file for the decoder. Now you can find those on our website by locating your locomotive's page. You type in the stock number from your box. There you'll see a product support tab. On the product support tab will be links to download the file either for a sound or a non-sound decoder. So the first thing you want to do after you download the file from our website to your PC is to get it on the decoder. Now the easiest way to do that is use a Loke programmer open the software that you've downloaded with the load programmer and then load it onto the decoder. Once you've got the software onto the decoder, we need to get the decoder inside the locomotive. And the first step in doing that would be to turn the locomotive over and you'll see that there's a screw holding the coupler box in here and here and we're going to want to take those out so we can remove the shell. Alright, once you get the coupler boxes out, the next step would be to take the shell off We'll take the shell off. It has to come off pretty square because there's not a lot of clearance in there. And once you get the shell off, you can set that aside and that will reveal the mechanism. So once you get the shell off, the next step would be to remove the blind plug or the dummy plug, which you can see here mounted underneath the main circuit board at the rear of the locomotive. Now the easiest way to do that is just to grab hold of it with a couple of fingers on each side and lightly press down and it'll come loose and drop right out. So before we put the decoder in, I thought it might be a good idea to show you a little bit about where you're putting the decoder. What we have here is a circuit board out of one of our N-scale locomotives. And you can see here the white connector is the female portion of the Next 18 connector that's mounted underneath the main board inside the locomotive just like you see here. The decoder has the male portion of the connector on the top of it as you see right here and they simply go together, press it in place, and it snaps right in. All right, now that you've got the decoder installed, it'd be a good idea to take it over to your test track and test it out and make sure everything works like you want to before you put the shell back on. All right, now that you've tested your locomotive and everything's working like you want it to, it's time to put the shell back on. Basically, that's the reverse of what you did before. Take it and put it in there like so. Put it back in your cradle and reinstall the couplers. Thanks for watching our video here on YouTube. If you'd like to learn more, visit our website at scaletrains.com.